Ladies and gentlemen, this main event is brought to you by Highly Efficient Heating Limited. Made for the Cage 21. Supremacy! Powered by Great Annual Savings Group. When this championship action begins, your referee in charge, Mr. Trevor Mitchell, from MMAofficials.co.uk. Our timekeeper, Cat Hall. Our judges, Mal Trotter, Carlin Sexton, and Ross Hughes. Our commentators, Pete Irving and Ian the Machine Freeman. Our social media handle, hashtag M4TC21. And our photography by Angie Ellis and Angie Ellis Photography. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Our judges, our officials are ready. Our fighters are ready. Fight fans, Reigns and Meadows Arena. Make some noise if you're ready. We get ready for three five-minute bounds in this title defense in the professional welterweight division. This is for the welterweight world title. Introducing first, your challenger, fighting in the blue corner, making weight at 170 pounds. This man has an impressive record of 22 wins with eight losses and zero draws. He is your challenger, John the One McGuire. And his opponent, your reigning champion, also making weight at 170 pounds. He has a professional record, an impressive professional record of 12 wins with six losses and zero draws. Fighting out of and representing Durham, Northeast England. He is your reigning, your defending, welterweight champion of the world, the people's favorite clown, Colin Freakshaw. Fletcher! When the action begins, your referee in charge, Mr. Trevor Mitchell. Oh, gentlemen, you know your rules. Do you have any questions on those rules? Okay, I will say a good, clean fight, obey my instructions, but defend yourselves at all times. Twitch goes. Here we go, welterweight world title on the line. The challenger, John, the one, Maguire. The champion, Colin, freak show, Fletcher. Two UFC veterans squaring off here. Well, you've got to give the striking ability to Maguire, the submission ability to Fletcher. Well, both men have got great submissions, but different styles of striking. But it looks like Maguire definitely wants it on the mat. There's nice the trademark down. single leg. That's classic Maguire. Elbows from the bottom from Fletcher. Passes the guard. Beautiful side control. Will he look to tie up? No oh, both men, both men started their careers as well. The weights cut down the lightweight and didn't perform maybe quite as well as they did. And they've both gone back up the well the way. I'm glad they were seeing this fight happen at well the way. It could have been a matchup that happened in the UFC, and it could have been a matchup that happened to Lightweight, but we've got it here. This is fantastic. Yeah, here in the Northeast, made for the cage, bringing the UFC fighters here for the Northeast crowd. Maguire controlling this ground. Kong's looking a little stuck here, but Maguire's not able to do anything with the position I'm as yet. I'm surprised Maguire hasn't tried to slip the mount because the, the mount's available if he wants it. Looking that way, but maybe the long body you're calling. It'd be hard to control from the mount. I don't know, he's such an unusual character. Even the guys who train with him say that they can't, they just can't figure him out. Guys who train with him every week. Colin needs to be careful, he's not going to get that arm caught. The There's the crucifix. Oh, he gets yeah, out of it. So close. Yeah, he gets out of it. Colin's notorious for pulling off I'd like to see Maguire throw some more strikes. There's no striking going on right now. He's not trying to soften him up yet. He's just grappling. He could drop elbows from here. Yeah, he's try. thinking about the mount. Very surprised. The length of time Maguire's been on side and he hasn't thrown any shots. Very unusual tactic. Let's see Colin's guard. There's Colin's strikes from the bottom. 
because his body's so long. Oh, there's so blood now away. coming from the head. Is that Ed coming Maguire, from it's, uh, Yeah, it's off the elbows, I think. Maguire's striking now from the, the guard position, but why he didn't throw strikes from side, I'm very, very shocked at that because it's a very strong position to throw. This is throw such a hard pound. fight. It's such a hard fight to make predictions on. He needs to pull Colin away from the cage. His legs are high. Referee looking closely at the blood. It's fine. And Maguire's had a bit of a renaissance since he turned, since he returned to welterweight. He's on a three-fight win streak. His last fight, he beat Vincent Delguerre by round one submission. The same man that Colin won. Won this world title off. He's got spinning arm bar. Oh, I thought he was going to get it. Oh, counter to counter to counter. This is beautiful grappling action. Yeah, one of the counters to a key lock like that. Uh, sorry, to a Kimura like that is a, an arm bar. And now John has taken the mount. Needs to get Colin away from the cage, though. There it goes. Oh, goes he gets high. Great work by Fletcher. The crowd's going crazy for this. Maguire tried the triangle, but... Collins is too wise to it. He's trying that elbow. But yeah, John's he's trying to it. throw them over the top, Pete. So John's got that grip far up on the forearm. He's not letting the elbow cut through. It's just falling shy. It was landing on the body. Again, a swing and a miss. Maguire goes for the. That's the Kimura. trademark. That's Maguire the Kimura. He loves this move. Fletcher got a hold of the... Oh, he's on, it's on, it's there. He needs to trap him from spinning. He cannot turn over. Wow, well, can he finish from this position? Oh, that looks tight. Looks very tight. He left go of it, he left go of it. But he gets in a top position now, though, Pete. Well, that's just the sort of thing that wouldn't happen with anybody else. Only Colin Fletcher could make an escape like that. North-South position. I love the way he spins over and gets him back in the guard there. Now, most of the time, the exciting fighters tend to be the, tend to be the strikers, but, but Maguire and Colin, they're exciting grapplers. This is, is really exciting action. It's all happening on the mat. Maguire heard the 10 seconds, decides to step up. Very close round. There was some great action in that round, but I'd have to say I'm giving that one to Maguire. Oh, without a doubt, the control on the ground. It was controlled that side position for long enough. He had more tough time in that Kimura attempt. Here we go, round two of this welterweight world title fight. The challenger seems to have gone up one round to nil. South Paul Maguire really knows how to use that stance to his advantage. Pulling with that lead hand. He's just not letting Colin get his kicks off. Long reach, the legs. At least four inches taller than Maguire. And Maguire's back and oh, back nice kick to the body. To the cage. Now that didn't look low to me, but Maguire was signaling that that was a low blow. I'm not sure about that. I think maybe it was a, if, if anything, it was a glance. Maybe it was the toes, maybe it was those long feet. A slower pace to this second round. It definitely a lot slower. The first round was so frantic, and now they're coming out much more measured. Very interesting stylistic matchup here. I just think that Maguire's having trouble getting into the long reach of Colin. He's normally a better striker than this. Likes Colin. to get on the inside, but look at the legs there. Colin's picking him off. Oh, Colin's timing's so strange, his rhythm's so weird. I sparred him once and I just I just couldn't find anything that, anything soft to hit. Colin trying to throw the elbow there, but got caught with the left hook. The right hook, sorry. Maguire's caught that kick, will he make the single? He does. Again with the elbows to the top of the head from the guard. Oh, that's a sharp elbow as well, right on the top. He's gone to the rubber guard. Rubber guard. John needs to make a frame here to block the progress of this. He's looking to get that hand inside. 
He's doing the right thing. He pulls straight out. Maguire is allowing Colin to strike off of them elbows. Now Passes Colin. the side. This is where that action happened in the first round when Colin tried to come over from the half guard and jumped past. Almost had the arm bar. Then Colin almost had the arm bar. We're going to see that again. Well, Maguire is methodically winning the points on the scorecard, slowly but surely. He is, he's just it's not aggressive, it's not really decisive, but he is winning, Another he's pass. controlling. He's just getting that top time. Hasn't really been able to do anything with top position yet though. He's going for the Kimura again. Trying to lock his wrist up. Collins got his hand on the inside of his thigh, not allowing John to get it. There he gets oh, it now. He's ripped it up and back. But even if he gets it on, he's going to have to step over the head of Colin to apply it. There we go, he's trying to step over now. He might be better off going north and south and apply it that way. I feel like we're looking, we're looking at a return to form for Maguire. This is the, this is the Maguire of old. Colin is allowed to grab his own shorts, he just can't grab your opponent's shorts. So if he wants to hold on to stop this submission going on, but he's left it. But still, John's maintained top position. Colin unable to escape, but here it goes. There's that thing that I was talking about, that weird head and arm that he catches from the oddest positions. Maguire's gonna slip them out now. You can see, oh, he's just about to move there. Colin, I think, felt his hips go up high. Still, John just not really working for ground and pound. He's looking to tie off an arm. He's looking to grab. Yeah, he's got the mount now. We should be ground and pound. But Colin turns his back. Well, let's see what Colin's defense is like. Colin's got. Sorry, Maguire's got wrist control. Maguire's being aggressive with that cross fist, but he's just not under the chin. Now his head's buried on the bottom. Strikes coming behind the head. Not many people can get a good leverage shot off from that position, but Colin's arms are so long. Maguire's got his ankles crossed as well. If Colin could feel that, he could go for a submission, just pop his leg over the top. Is Colin reaching for the leg there? He's trying yeah, to pull the hooks to, out. Yeah, he's trying to come out of it. Yeah, he's got it. He's John wants to get back on top. There he's we go. Transition to the mount. That was beautiful. Yeah. Classic could, stuff. I could see his hips ready to move. He's just about to move. Still no moves to ground and pound. Uh, to, uh, do you know what? That's the only thing was letting John down is the ground and pound side of things. He's going for a figure four toe hold. Wow. He's going for it. He's got it. He's got it. He's got ten seconds to do it. Colin's got a heel hook. Oh, they both played with defeat. That was. His brother gives him a little slap on the face there, tell him to wake up. I think his corner's urging a little more aggression from John. Well, here we go, third and final round for this, the welterweight world title. John Maguire, the challenger. Colin Fletcher, the champion. The champion could be down two rounds. Maguire steps back, but takes a kick for his trouble. Now has Maguire switched off a little bit? His corner was urging him to switch on. Oh, oh, nice single. No, he has not. I spoke too soon. Looks like he was going to grab a leg there. I thought he was going to go for an Achilles. He's been careful not to let, not to let Khan close that guard. Again, yeah. Khan goes for the Kimura. Maguire's own move, the same counter. Colin looking oh, for the he's going for the arm now. Colin sits back. Eh, sorry, Maguire sits back for the arm. He's got it. He just needs to pull that arm free. Yep, yep, Colin yep. Colin doesn't have the grip. Oh, Colin needs to escape. Not a very good. Oh, what? oh, he taps. Oh my God, he taps. 
Oh, the I am club. shocked he didn't know how to escape that armbar. I thought he was going to twist out of it. I thought he was. But that's the quality of Maguire. He is a damn good grappler. Wow. It's not one of the hardest armbars to escape either. It's something I drill my students. Very shocked he stopped and tapped, especially after the performance he's put in. But John the One Maguire takes the World Championship, takes the title from a very, very great champion. Two great fighters. Ladies and gentlemen, our referee called the stoppage to this bout at one minute, three seconds of the third round. To your winner, by submission with armbar, and new welterweight champion of the world, John the One McGuire! to turn it on.